Well, GraphQL just got a huge update. We now have an amazing GraphQL experience. We now have full type safety right inside of our code editor without having to configure much. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> now, one of the biggest pain points with GraphQL is configuring all of the type safety. And there are so many different solutions out there that allow you to add type safety to your projects, whether you're working with React, Svelte, Vue, it just takes time to set up. But with this new plugin, it hooks into your code editor, so there isn't much that you need to do. The editor takes care of generating the types for you and adding them to your project where you can import and use. Let's take a quick look at what this gives you and where you can go to learn more about it and get started. It all begins in your project tsconfig.json where we add a new plugin for the GraphQL LSP and providing the path to your schema locally or remotely and the output location for the introspection result. And if you've used GraphQL long enough, this introspection result will look very familiar. But what's really cool is when we update our tsconfig to use another GraphQL API, it automatically introspects and automatically updates that definition file with the new introspection result. If we open a component file that uses a GraphQL query, we can see when we update the GraphQL query that we have full IntelliSense on what's available from that API, thanks to the generated introspection result that is just TypeScript that was generated using the TypeScript language server and the GraphQL LSP plugin. And because we use an Urkel, those types are available when we destructure from the result data. So here when we hover data, cart, subtotal, formatted, or anything else in a component, we can see what the type of this field is and a description, as well as the ability to see nullable fields. If you've used anything that uses the concept of fragment masking before, then this will also feel very familiar. Here we're able to create a new fragment using the GraphQL import and assign that fragment to our data prop. Then we can use the import read fragment to create a new data const where we pass in the data and the fragment, which gives you full type safety of that fragment's data. And if you're wondering what that GraphQL file looks like that we import these utilities from, this is it. Overall, I think this is a great improvement that the GraphQL community can take huge advantage of when working with type document nodes. And if you've liked what you've seen in this video, then I highly recommend that you go to the GitHub repository and give it a star. I'm also really excited about the possibility in the future of using this not with GraphQL, but something like the open API specification. So what you're seeing here today is actually a huge improvement in actually using the code and the TypeScript language server to generate types from a specification. That's a really important thing that I think we can all benefit from, whether you use GraphQL or not, or whether you like GraphQL or not. So check out the description for all of the links, and I'll see you in the next video.